we're going to solve the equation 4 fifths x minus 5 halves equals negative 9 tenths x minus 7. The solution is the value of x that satisfies the equation, which means the solution is the value of x that makes the expression on the left equal to the expression on the right. And because the equation has fractions, we need to decide whether we want to solve the equation with the fractions in it or clear the fractions by multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common denominator or at least a common denominator. In this video, we'll be solving the equation by first clearing the fractions from the equation. Let's see if we can identify the least common denominator. The least common denominator is the least common multiple of 5, 2, and 10, which is also the smallest number that's divisible by 5, 2, and 10. And because the least common multiple of 5, 2, and 10 is 10, we'll clear the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by 10. We can clear the fractions by multiplying by any common denominator, but if we multiply by the least common denominator, they'll be less simplifying later. So let's multiply the left side of the equation by 10 and the right side by 10. And let's go ahead and show each product. So we'd have 10 times 4 fifths x minus 10 times 5 halves equals 10 times negative 9 tenths x minus 10 times 7. And now for the products involving a fraction, let's write 10 as a fraction with the denominator of 1. And now we'll determine each product. Before multiplying, though, we'll simplify. Notice the numerator and denominator share a common factor of 5 here. There's 1, 5, and 5, and 2, 5, and 10. The product is now just 2 times 4x, which equals 8x, minus here we have a common factor of 2. There's 1, 2, and 2, and 5, 2's, and 10. The product is now just 5 times 5, which equals 25. So we have minus 25. On the right side, we have a common factor of 10 here. There's 1, 10, and 10, and 1, 10, and 10. The product is now 1 times negative 9x, which is negative 9x. And then we have minus 10 times 7, which equals 70. Notice now the equation no longer contains fractions. In order to solve for x, we need to isolate x on one side of the equation. Notice right now we have an x term on the left and an x term on the right. So for the next step, we want all the x terms to be on one side, and therefore we need to undo or eliminate the negative 9x on the right or undo or eliminate the 8x on the left. Let's undo or eliminate the negative 9x on the right side by adding 9x to both sides of the equation. Notice adding 9x will undo the negative 9x on the right side. Whatever operation we perform to one side, we must also perform to the other. So we'll add 9x to both sides of the equation and simplify. 8x plus 9x is 17x. So we have 17x minus 25 equals negative 9x plus 9x is 0. That's why we added 9x to both sides. So the right side is now just negative 70. So now we have the equation 17x minus 25 equals negative 70. The next step is to undo the subtraction so we can isolate the variable term 17x. To undo minus 25, we want to perform the opposite or inverse operation, and therefore we'll add 25 to both sides of the equation. Adding 25 will undo the minus 25. And we simplify both sides of the equation. Again, adding 25 undoes minus 25, or negative 25 plus 25 is 0. So now we have the equation 17x equals, on the right side we have negative 70 plus 25, which equals negative 45. Finally, our last step is to solve for the variable x. And because 17x means 17 times x, we want to undo the multiplication involving 17, and therefore the next step is to divide both sides by 17. Dividing by 17 undoes multiplying by 17, or 17 divided by 17 equals 1, and 1 times x is x, equals, on the right side we have the fraction, negative 45 seventeenths. And because the only common factor between 45 and 17 is 1, the fraction is in simplest form, and we now have our solution.
the solution is x equals negative 45 seventeenths. Before we go, though, let's verify our solution by substituting negative 45 seventeenths for x in the original equation and make sure it does satisfy the equation. So performing the substitution, we would have 4 fifths times negative 45 seventeenths minus 5 halves equals negative 9 tenths times negative 45 seventeenths minus 7. Now let's use the calculator to evaluate the left side and the right side of the equation. On the left side we have 4 fifths times negative 45 seventeenths minus 5 halves. Enter. Let's convert this to a fraction by pressing math, enter, enter. So the left side is equal to negative 157 thirty-fourths. Let's make sure the right side is also negative 157 thirty-fourths. So on the right side we have negative 9 tenths times negative 45 seventeenths and then minus 7. Enter. Math, enter, enter, converts the decimal to a fraction, and notice how we have the same value on the right side when x equals negative 45 seventeenths, verifying our solution is correct. On the left, we have negative 157 thirty-fourths, and we have the same value on the right, which is our check that our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.